Hello, my friends. Mr. Flanders here again with math. And I know uh, this worksheet might look familiar. You might have watched the other video before this, but I hope you're watching this video first because I realized in the last video I made a mistake. So when we were looking at number three in the other video, I was talking to you guys about lines of symmetry. However, I had what is called a brain fart. And instead of talking about a line of symmetry, I talked about parallel lines. Please completely ignore, ignore this part of the lesson in our recorded video. If you've not watched it yet, that's great. You could skip through it. If you have already watched it, though, I need you to go back and fix it. Okay? Make sure you're not doing this in pen, too. So, yeah, there we go. But, uh, yes, I'm in a mistake. We talked about parallel lines, but we really need to be talking about lines of symmetry. So, the first part of our lesson says to put a dot inside each angle. And then we're going to count the number of angles in each shape. Now, if you remember, an angle is kind of like a vertice. Uh, that, that just means we're talking about the angular point. Okay? We've got a lot of angular points in these shapes in front of us. This particular shape has one, two, three, four angles. So, I would do four dots for this polygon. And then my angles are just four. Our second shape has one, two, three, four, five, six angles. So what I would do is put a dot inside each angle. And it's going to have six angles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our next one is a triangle. Now, as I talk about in the already recorded video that you might have watched before this, like I talked about yesterday in class, a triangle, its name says three angles. Tri means three. Uh, so a triangle has three angles. One, two, three. Three angles. And now the part where I had my fantastic brain fart is drawing a line of symmetry in each shape. Now, like I said, in my other video, if you've already seen it, I was thinking parallel lines. I am blaming Mr. Walker for coming in and interrupting my recording and making me all frazzled and whatnot. Um, it happens when the principal comes in sometimes, guys. It happens. But yes, it wasn't parallel lines that I needed you guys to do. It is a line of symmetry. And a line of symmetry is a line that goes through a shape that makes it equal on both sides. For example, this shape right here would have a line go from here through the middle to the other side. And it is equal on both sides. My next shape that would have a line of symmetry would be this shape right here. And I would just actually do my line of symmetry from this dot to that dot because it is still equal on both sides. And then for the triangle, this could be tricky because everybody's instinct is usually to put a line from the top to the bottom like this. But that only works if the main point is at the top. It's not, though. The main point is on the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with this dot we're just going to go through the middle and try to make it as even as possible on both sides. Again, that's what a line of symmetry is supposed to do. A line of symmetry is supposed to divide things equally. Uh, it's supposed to, you know, if, if, if a shape is split in half, you want to make sure each shape has the same equal amount on both sides. And that's what a line of symmetry does. I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm sorry for the second math video. Please make sure, though, you are making those corrections if you've already watched the other video. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get running. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you, and I will see you later. Stay safe. Adios, amigos and amigas.